الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين American Trypanosomiasis or Chagas Disease by Professor Mahmoud Hani Suleiman Definition Chagas Disease or American Trypanosomiasis is an infection caused by single cell protozoan parasite Trypanosoma cruzi Epidemiology, Chagas disease, endemic in Mexico, all of Central and South America. The infection, not endemic in any of Caribbean islands. About 8 million chronically infected with T. cruzi. Roughly 56,000 new infections occur per year. Around 12,000 persons die of illness per year. During recent decades, large numbers in endemic countries migrated from rural areas to cities, and at the same time, millions emigrated from endemic countries to industrialized regions, especially U.S. and the European Union, thus urbanizing and globalizing this disease. This picture shows Rodness prolexus, a common vector of trypanosoma cruzi. First and second stage nymphs, this, and eggs, this, and adult. A to C showing triatomine bug, a trypanosoma cruzi vector, defecating on wound after taking a blood meal. This is the mode of transmission. This map shows where trypanosoma cruzi is present. This life cycle of trip T. cruzi, an infected triatomine insect vector, or it's called kissing bug takes a blood meal and releases tripomasty goats in its feces near site of bite wound. Tripomasty goats enter host through wound or through intact mucosal membrane as conjunctiva. 1. Triatomyin vector species for trypanosomiasis belong to genera Triatoma rodinius and panstrogylus. Trypanosomiasis inside host, tripomasty goats invade cells and differentiate into intracellular amasty goats. Two, then multiply by binary fission. Three, Differentiate into tryptomastigotes and then release into bloodstream. 4. Tryptomastigotes infect cells from a variety of tissues and transform into intracellular amastigotes in new infection site. Clinical manifestation due to this infective cycle. Blood tryptomastigotes do not replicate different from African trypanosomes in this respect. Replication resumes only when parasites enter human or animal blood that contains circulating parasites. 5. Ingested tripomastigotes transform into epimastigotes in vectors midgut. 6. Parasites multiply and differentiate in midgut 7 and differentiate into infective metacyclic tripomastigotes in hindgut 8. Triponosoma cruzi also transmitted through blood transfusions. This is important. Blood transfusion, organ transplantation, transplacentary, and in lab accidents. In lab accidents, this is occupational.
This is the life cycle we have mentioned. First, triatomine bug stages. Triatomine bug takes a blood meal, passes metacyclic trepano tripomastigotes in feces. Tripomastigotes enter bite wound or mucosal membrane such as the conjunctiva. Two metacyclic tripomastigotes penetrate various cells at the wound site. Inside cells, they transform into amastigotes. Here, three amastigotes multiply by binary fission in cells of infected tissue. Tripomastigotes can infect other cells and transform into intracellular amastigotes in new infection sites. Clinical manifestations can result from this infective cycle. Stage 4 intracellular amastigotes transform into tripomastigotes, then burst out of the cell and enter the bloodstream. Stage 5 triatomine bug takes a blood meal. Stage 6 epimastigotes in Mid gut stage seven multiply in mid gut stage eight metacyclic tripomastigotes in hind gut and then enter by triatomine bug when it takes a meal. I equal infective stage. This is the infective stage. D is diagnostic stage. This is the diagnostic stage. Microbiology and transmission of T. cruzi. T. cruzi spread among its various mammalian hosts, including domestic and wild animals, humans, by blood sucking triatomyin insects, also called cone nosed or kissing bugs. Parasites multiply in gut of these insects and their feces contain forms that can infect mammals. When contaminated feces touch vulnerable mammalian tissues as conjunctiva, oral and nasal mucosal surfaces, or skin abrasions, transmission happens. Once parasites enter in mammalian host, they alternate between multiplying intracellular forms and free swimming forms in blood so spread infection internally or get swept up by feeding vectors thus completing the cycle. T. cruzi also transmitted from mother to fetus by ingestion to mother from mother to fetus another way by ingestion of contaminated food another way drink this is another way through blood products this is important and serious organs obtained from infected donors and in lab accidents this is occupational infection with t cruzi in humans is lifelong this picture shows t cruzi tripomastigotes in a smear of a mouse blood with jemsa stain These five pictures shows three cruzi and blood smears here, 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 and here. In A here, in B here, in C here, in D here, 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 and in E here. This picture shows T. cruzi in blood smear using gem staining. This is here. This protozoan parasite T. cruzi is causative agent for Chagas disease, also known as American trypanosomiasis. It is about six, 16 to 18 million infected with Chagas disease, and of them, 50,000 die every year. Clinical manifestations. 
between 10 to 30 of persons chronically infected with T. Cruz, cruzy get cardiac, cardiac or gastrointestinal symptoms due to pathology related to presence of the parasite. Chronic cardiac Chagas disease typically involves rhythm disturbances and cardiomyopathy. Rhythm disturbances and cardiomyopathy. GIT problems include mega esophagus and mega colon. Immunosuppressions of person who harbor T. cruzy chronically can lead to life-threatening reactivation of infection. This x-ray shows barium swallow here, radiographic study of Brazilian patient with chronic trypanosoma cruzy infection and megaesophagus. The markedly increased diameter of the esophagus as well as its failure to empathize are typically findings in Chagas disease with megaesophagus. This X-ray of a Bolivian patient with chronic T. cruzy infection, congestive heart failure. You see how much is the heart and rhythm disturbances. Pacemaker wires. These are the pacemaker wires in the area of the left ventricle. Air contrast barium enema of a constipated Bolivian patient with megacolon and the chronic Chagas disease. The markedly increased diameters of ascending, this ascending, transverse, this, and sigmoid, this, segments of the colon are readily apparent. Diagnosis, diagnosis of acute or congenital Chagas disease made by parasitological methods, typically direct microscopic examination of blood or PCR assays. Chronic T. cruzy infection diagnosed serologically and many accurate enzyme-linked immunosorbent assays, immunofluorescence assays, Chemiluminescent tests are available commercially for this purpose. Therapy Benzinidazole and Noforetimox are the only two drugs, only two drugs available for treating T. cruzy infections. Benzinidazole is approved for treatment of children 2 to 12 years. Parasitologic cure rates for these drugs are high for acute and congenital infections, but unfortunately very low in persons with long-standing infection, with chronic infection. There are no convincing data indicating that treatment of chronic infected adults with either drugs significantly delays pathogenesis or affects long-term outcomes. Prevention. No vaccine or prophylactic drugs available for T. cruzy in endemic countries. Reducing vector-borne transmission depends on educating at-risk population, housing improvement, and spraying insecticide. Educating at-risk population, housing improvement, and spraying insecticide to eliminate vectors. Serologic screening of blood and organ donors is also key in control of Chagas disease. In majority of endemic countries, numerous progress made in reducing transmission by vector control and the blood screening. Effective programs for latter implemented in US, Canada, and several countries in European Union. Thank you for your good listening.